Texas having to remain in our state. We are looking at Texas having to pay $5 billion of state money to be able to protect our borders because the Biden administration is not. We've seen a thousand percent increase in fentanyl poisonings. We've seen a thousand percent increase in drug seizures. Fentanyl right now is killing five Texans per day on average. When you think about the 10 million people who have crossed over into our country illegally, almost half of those have come through our state. When you think about the getaways that have come into into our country, nearly 60 percent of those are in Texas. We are having to take on a way more um, um, burden than the rest of the country. And obviously we're fighting that. So when we think about the tools that we need, the Remain in Mexico policy was strong. It worked. Title 42 was strong and it worked. We need to be able to enforce our borders. We need to be able to send people back when they come here, considering that 90 percent of them don't uh, don't uh, fill out for when they fill out for asylum, don't actually actually meet the requirements for that 90 almost 90 percent we need to finish building our border wall and we have to support our local law enforcement and our state law enforcement that are basically trying to enforce the laws that the Biden administration is not doing 